Okay, this video is going to be a very simple where things are uh, in your IMVU app. So I've logged in and you have to download the app from the IMVU.com website. Once you do then you can either log in using your Facebook account or you can sign in with your email and a password. I am signed in. Right now I have my settings on do not disturb you can change this and you can play friends only you can do available adults only away which gives you an option uh, to set an away message it's on my other screen right now so you can't see that um, and do not disturb or creating if you're a developer you can create things so I'm gonna do do not disturb so that I don't get invited to go to someone's room um, so here's where you are if you want to dress up you go to this one and you see it open another tab up here so you can still go back to your home screen while you're dressing up um, this is what I'm currently wearing it's all these things right here if I want to go all categories there's all my stuff now if I wanted to just search for boots you can type it in the search thing up here and it'll show you what you have in your inventory in the way of boots uh, hairstyles. Now, I'm seeing nothing over here. I know I own hair, but it's because I have boots still typed in up here. So you can X that out. Now all my hairstyles show up. I don't have that much in my inventory yet. Tops. There's all my tops. Bottoms. There's bottoms. Dresses will show up in tops more often than not. Um, there's different eyes. Different heads. I've just got one different head. Skins. Skins are the, the uh, way your avatar will appear. Um, if I wanted to be very pale, she's now changed and she's got very light skin. If I remove that, she's tan again. I'm going to add her and that's how I started. Now, let's say I changed some things and I wanted to save this outfit. You go up here, save outfit. Now, once I've saved the outfit, I can go down here where this hanger is and there's all the different outfits that I've saved so this is the one I want to put on I've already got it on so I don't need to so that's dressing up um, if you want to shop there's something else about shopping right now I have just the default screen but if I want to change this and be in one of my rooms while I'm shopping so I can see what the furniture will look like I can go to my settings, which are right here, go to advanced, and I can default room for shopping mode. You can change this as many times as you want. Um, and I could change this to any of my rooms so I can see how things are going to look while I'm in the room. Um, I just got this room, so I'll change it to this one and we can go shop there. So now I'll go back here and I'll go to shopping and it's going to take me to this club that I just bought it's called a room though everything that you buy that you can decorate is a room there are some things that you can add like surrounds so that the outside if this was an outdoor room then I could buy a surround which would make a, a sky and a moon or whatever there's tons of different surrounds but this is an interior room and um, anywhere you see the little yellow spots when you mouse around you can stand you can go to those so I can stand over here now if you want to zoom out and your mouse isn't doing it you can use your down arrow on your keyboard and that will zoom you out you can zoom all the way out you can see what this room looks like from the outside and you just use your mouse to work your way around not and go stand back in here and use your roller on your mouse to zoom in to where you are just move yourself around <clears throat> now up here is where the furniture is these are the different rooms this is women's things um, if you have a wish list if you want to add things to your wish list so you can go back and look at them later you just click on the heart on any of the items 
and that will save it to your wish list. And you can look at your wish list anytime you want to. I have some stuff saved in here because I was thinking about buying a room and some furniture to go with it. So that's pretty much the shopping, um, just so that you know your way around. Anytime you click on My Room, it will take you to your default room. I think I currently have my fairy room set up as my default. Yeah, I do. So um, she's in there. I'll close that. Why it's dark? Oh, it's still loading. We can go back there again. It'll load. It's loading. Okay. Now here's all my junk down here at the bottom. This is the furniture icon. Again, this hanger is your outfits. If your friends message you and you want to talk to them, click on this chat bubble. It's down here at the bottom of the screen. And you can get to that from any of the screens when you're uh, shopping or doing things. Look down here at the very bottom and there's the chat screen. I just closed it. Open it again. And if your friend is in the room with you, you just type in down here and hit the enter key and then you have the speak bubbles and it shows up down here in the conversation. If you don't want this part of your room covered, you can close this and you can still chat. Um, you won't see while you're typing, but it shows up on the screen while you're typing it. So if you're afraid that your typing isn't that great, you probably don't want to do it like that because everything you type shows up immediately. Um, if you do it this way, you can go back and fix typos before you hit the enter key and then this and then it shows up here and it shows up above your head so that's how to chat with your friends if you want to take a picture of yourself while you are in your uh, room that you're in um, I can sit on this mushroom and I can take a picture and you can change it to landscape or portrait either way you can uh, zoom in or out you can use your keys on your keyboard or your mouse you could zoom in and then you can use the arrow keys over here to center your avatar so that's picture taking that's where everything is um, if you want to go to a different room you click on your rooms down here and let's say I wanted to go to my snow cabin so I will click on that and I'm now at my snow cabin. Um, I did another video on how to put things in your room and how to move them. So that's available uh, as far as for decorating tips. Um, and it's very helpful. If there's anything that anybody has questions about, you guys can post on Facebook. But I think that that's pretty much the basics of where things are. Chat rooms, um, you just kind of want to be careful about these. Oh, I know what else I'll show you is the size of, um, I don't know why this is, oh, I've got a screen. I have two monitors and sometimes things pop up over on the left. That won't happen to you if you just have one. Everything will be on one screen. Um, I have my club as a public chat room, but you can change your settings so that just your friends can come if you have a VIP. So that works out nicely. Um, that's the chat rooms. The other thing I was going to show you is how to figure out the size of your avatar file size. Um, because sometimes your avatar can get very heavy and you'll notice a big lag in the game. And that's because you're wearing too much stuff or the developer made the file sizes too big and your clothing is too heavy and you will get kicked out of chat rooms um, if you're over two kilobytes so I'm gonna show you how to figure out what size things are so I'm gonna go now I still have myself shopping from this room remember you can change that in your settings so it just goes back to the default um, let's say I wanted to see the file size on this dress so you click on information and click on more information and you'll get a web page that has the information for this dress here's the file size for the dress 236 so it's not bad 
Um, I tried on a pair of shoes. You can just close this and you go back to your app. Um, there were a pair of shoes that I really liked, but they were over a thousand um, kilobyte, and that's just too much because you've only got up to two um, to before your avatar starts to get too heavy, and you'll notice a big lag in the game. You know, for some for some instances, if you don't have a lot of stuff in a room, you can have a heavier um, avatar if you're just playing by yourself. But if you're visiting with friends or go into chat rooms, it's better if your avatar stays under 2 kilobyte. Um, we could try these shoes. I can see how big this file size is. These are very pretty. A friend of mine made these um, on Facebook. And go to Mortar Information. And these are 536. So that's about a quarter of the amount of file size that you want to use up. So you want to make sure whatever else you buy uh, to go with the shoes doesn't go over 2000. And um, so that's it for file sizes. You can check your file sizes for lots of things because huge files, things that are animated can also be really big file sizes and they can make your rooms laggy. But um, again, you know, it it depends on where you are, if there's people with you. If you're not going to have friends over and you just want to decorate the hell out of a room, you know, you don't have to worry about it. If it's laggy for you, it doesn't matter. But if your friends are, come over and it's very laggy, sometimes it'll freeze them up or kick them out of out of the game or they, you know, they have issues. So it's, it's good to try and keep your set file sizes down. Um, so that's it for the basics.